our Sheep Concerns show last week, we had Steve Bono, who was one of uh, one of many quarterbacks who played for the Chiefs and 49ers. Not many, but like five, five of them. But it's uh, Blaine Gabbert's one of them. Uh, Joe Montana, obviously. Steve Bono. Steve DeBerg. Um, and Alex, Elvis Gerbeck, and then Alvin, Alex Smith. So Alex Smith went on uh, the Adam Schefter podcast and talked about the matchup between the two teams. You know, some, some are calling it the Alex Smith Super Bowl. Um, but yeah, Alex Smith went on Adam Schefter's podcast last week and had some interesting words to say about it. And it's kind of taken a lot of people by surprise as what he had to say about the Super Bowl. So we're going to kind of dive in. We're going to go to the full screen here. So Alex Smith said on Adam Schefter's podcast, having watched this Niners defense, I think they are in trouble. You got to play man and you got to come after Mahomes. I still think he's phenomenal against pressure, but you got to man up and come after him. If you sit back in zone, he's going to dice you up. And that's all the Niners play. They predominantly play zone. The only chance the Niners have to win is a little bit of a shootout. But this Chiefs defense continues to elevate their game. They play such great team defense. I think Patrick is going to have a day. So, Tasia, do you agree that Alex? Do you agree with Alex Smith here that the 49ers are in trouble? It's a big statement. I don't totally agree with this statement so the main reason the main reason it's it's i don't attribute this to how the niners defense has played lately for me it's more about how much talent they have on defense we have to kind of balance that out right because if we completely judged a team on their next game based on their recent play then the chiefs probably would have been bounced out of the playoffs early based on how bad our offense had been lately so you can't just always say, oh, well, they've done this the last five games. They're done. They're out. That's how teams underestimated us. And that's how we've been a underdog for the entire playoff so far. So except for Miami. Um, so uh, you can't do that. And especially now, if a team got here, I don't care if it was – I mean, if there was a tournament of the entire NFL and the bottom team and the friggin' Bears got here – or not Bears because they had that pick – Carolina got here, I wouldn't underestimate them anymore. So anyone that's here at this point – um, deserves to be here and they earned it and um, I don't think we should be looking um, overlooking them based on recent play um, talented teams can pull out of it and we've shown that ourselves we, we we look no further than the mirror right so would I be shocked if the Niners defense and played closer to the talent they're capable of no not at all yeah, I, I find it funny because, like, <clears throat> for many years, and look at the last Super Bowl, it was kind of like a different thing altogether. Whereas the narrative that people are saying about the Niners now is what was being said about us back four years ago. And what they were saying about the, us, the Chiefs now, is what they were saying about the 49ers four years ago. But the, their defense being so great and our offense not being able to, you know, be able to put up points against their defense. Yeah. It's funny now it's, the whole thing has completely changed. I think it's funny that just in a few years' time, that whole thing has changed. But, yeah, I will say this to, to one thing uh, with, with the Niners is that they played against the Packers who don't really have that good of a defense. I mean, they fired Joe Barry after the season for a reason. Uh, overall, this whole season, Packers defense was pretty trash. They held 49ers in check that entire game. They only had them 24 points that game, I believe. Uh, they, they had forced Purdy into a few turnovers that game. Uh, Purdy had, no, two, no. 250 yards, one touchdown. Um, but, like – yeah, they, they hadn't played down their level. Lions, on the other hand, they were stopping them pretty good in that first half of that game, second half. And that's, just, that's the thing with the Chiefs. Second half is when we come alive. We don't we don't allow anyone to score any points in the second half. But the fact that, I mean, if that's what they're going to be banking on, that's not going to happen against Kansas City as far as proving uh, of a team who's really stopped stuff on, in the second half of games. So, I mean, that's, you're playing a different type of team here that they haven't really faced. And if you just look at how they got into the playoffs – in the last few weeks, they just they looked like this world beating team, and then second half of the season, once Christmas Day came, that was when it was like, okay, this Niners they aren't the world beaters. I mean, they got dominated by the Ravens on at home a Sunday night or a, a Christmas Day night, and ever since then, we was like, okay, this team is not the world beater that everyone thought. But yeah, at the same time, everyone thought the Baltimore was world beaters when they beat San Francisco, and then look what happened last week against Kansas City. Um, but yeah. what were you gonna say? I was going to look at the Raven game that, that, that did not go to script at all. So no. that was almost the opposite of what people were expecting. So, you know, it, it weird things happened this late. Um, and I, 
you, they could also win other than a shootout, like he said, if both defenses just show up and shut down both off both offenses. So if the total points for both teams is like under 30 in like the mid early fourth quarter, um, that's a win for them. I would be happy if I were them. Uh, if CMC has a really good day, if Purdy doesn't make mistakes, they just move the chains, eat up clock, long drives, um, and their defense shows up, sh- shuts, slows us down the way the Ravens did in the second half, then that's huge for them. Yeah, well, it's funny you mentioned that. So I was looking at some numbers here, did some uh, deep dive, and San Fran hasn't won a game scoring under 24 points this year. Uh, Chiefs have won an NFL, be- an NFL best six games when scoring under 24 points. Uh, but on the other hand, this kind of bodes well with, like, uh, if a game is kind of a slugfest, this under 24 points game, that bodes well for us. Uh, on the other hand, San Francisco is undefeated when scoring over 24 points this year. Um, so that whole narrative of, like, it being a shootout, that definitely bodes well in their favor. Um, I will, and also another thing, too, is this is a, kind of talking about the historical aspect of it. Can I kind of mention four years ago we have a narrative about us that San Francisco has right now. But um, 49ers are allowing 26 points per game this postseason. If they win, allowing 24 points plus in the Super Bowl, it would top Kansas City's Super Bowl runs in 2019 and 2022 for most points allowed per game ever in a playoffs by a Super Bowl champion. Wow. So it's uh, interesting that, that that San Francisco team, that world-beating defense that we knew four years ago, it's not the same. But in that same regard, though, talking about this shootout, yes, we played better defenses overall. We played um, – even Miami had at, at certain points this year have been playing well. Yes, they were injury de- depleted when we played them. But Buffalo, solid defense all year long. Baltimore, solid defense all year. Two teams that second half of the season had probably top 10 defenses in the league. But to that whole narrative of, of uh, shootouts and kind of playing the slugfest of a game, of all the pass rushers that we played, Bosa, and you could say Chase Young, but Chase Young has been actually kind of a disappointment for them since they've traded for him. But Bosa – of all the teams we've played, that would be the best pass rusher we've uh, we've played against. So that's that's a big test for our offense, um, and then them kind of trying to neutralize our offense. And then, but I think the, I think the whole point is going to be our defense versus their their offense. That's going to be the main where, where the game's going to be won. I believe. Yep. Yep. Overall pass rush, Baltimore best pass rusher, uh, Bosa. Yes. Yeah. They just had a, a collection of guys who, who 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 did a lot of things on that uh, on that yeah. defense. Yeah, I thought it was interesting, though, uh, for, for the fact that Alex Smith says they're in trouble and then we could dice them up. That's that, that's interesting because then he also the same point says the only chance it could be if it's a shootout, but also the same point Alex Smith saying Mahomes is going to dice them up because they predominantly, predominantly play zone and Mahomes tears up zone. So, like, so that's the only chance they can have it if it's a shootout. But, like, if, if we're blowing them out and Mahomes is on his A game, you know, I mean, it, what, what, what uh, Alex Smith is suggesting here is we're going to get a little vintage 2019 Patrick Mahomes, and that's that's not what we've seen all year long. We've seen a more of a conservative style approach, and Alex Smith kind of like game plan for Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs' offense. But now he's saying that, then like, okay, well, if we're scoring 30 points, then doesn't that? I mean, I, I guess he's saying that he doesn't think that their their offense can score 30 points against their own defense. So that, that that's that's what it sounds like to me. I, I, if I were, the, I mean, look, if you look at both games they played in the playoffs, if we were up 24 7 the way Detroit was in the first half, I'd feel ridiculously confident in that. Um, if we were up going into the fourth quarter, 21 uh, 14, even the way the Green Bay was, I would also feel extremely comfortable in that. Being up going into the fourth quarter um, means that they have to score tie or take a slight lead and we get the ball back um as long as that's the case uh i'll I'll feel extremely confident in that game um i i think a lot of this game it's interesting i i think um our offense is going to have so much weight on them in the first half and then our defense is going to have so much weight on them in the second half that's that's generally how it's been i mean if you look at that the way that baltimore game went you know offense First drive, we came out, and once we took that lead, it was okay. Let's just kind of like do our thing. Defense will handle it, handle the business in the second half, like they have been doing all season long. Which is, yeah, I mean, I, w- what they're doing right now is is I think uh, it was teams that have held um, their opponents under uh, twenty eight uh, points uh, all games throughout the season. I think every team that's done that has been a Super Bowl champion. Like going back um, 
forget where the where the number comes from, but yeah, teams that have held every opponent under twenty eight points have won. Uh, for yeah, all twenty all twenty of our opponents have been held under twenty eight points this year. So that just shows how historic our defense is, and teams that do that, that's the Super Bowl champion team. So hi everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.